In this video, I'm going to show you what we bought Ashley for her Christmas stocking. Um, I've said this in all the stocking videos, so if you watch them, you'll hear me say this again and again. We do not use stockings anymore. We use gift bags, and it gives me more leeway. I can put in more, put in less. I can just change out the bags, and, uh, you know, this way the people can, uh, uh, take the bag home and you don't, you know, because normally you don't take home a uh, stocking, uh, but you can take home the gift bag. You can just get your stuff and go. So, uh, we use bags and so Ashley, it probably will not seem to you like Ashley got a lot of items in her stocking. However, a lot of Ashley's items were more pricey than other people's. So that is why she doesn't have the amount uh, in hers. Um, I went to Aldi and I bought uh, four or five bags of assorted chocolate. Well, it's all milk chocolate, but assorted shaped chocolates. And I, I think it makes it special to give the candy because it's not just your run of the mill. Um, it's not just your run of the mill chocolates. This is actually uh, it's in pretty foil paper, and so uh, these are just an assortment of milk chocolate. Same thing, all milk chocolate, but in different paper. Um, I've got her one of the red Santa Clauses here, and then I bought a container of mini Santas, and I got three mini Santas. Um, also, for food, I went to Dollar Tree, and I bought her the Kids Mix of the Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. You get 20 flavors in here. 20 flavors kids love, and Ashley, she's like me. She likes bubble gum and things like that, so I think she'll love these flavors. We were at Five Below uh, a while back. I've been collect, I collect these stocking stuffers year round, so some of these things I've had for a while, uh, but as long as they don't expire, then um, I'm not worried about it. But we were at Five Below, and they had this Bob Ross. It says, Happy Little Tree Mounts. And we actually bought these probably back in the summer, but Ashley loves Bob Ross, and I think I paid way too much for these, even at Five Below. I'm thinking they were like three or four dollars, uh, but I thought, you know what? For stockings, you're looking for novelty items. This is a novelty item, and she can keep the tan once the mints are gone. So, um, also, she likes these Icebreakers mints. These are the candy cane. I think we found these at Walmart, but they have them at Target and lots of different places, and they're really good. Um, as far as kitchen things go, uh, you know, Ashley lives with us right now, but she has an attic full of apartment items. I don't know if she has either one of these items or not. She might have both of these, but she has more now, so I can't help it. I, I don't remember, but I know they'll come in handy when if she does move out. Uh, this is the Crofton. This is a cookie scoop. She probably does have a cookie scoop. I just couldn't remember, and it was too good of a deal to pass on. I think it, I don't remember how much it was, but it wasn't bad at all. And then this is a Crofton rolling pin. We also bought a cookie scoop and rolling pin for Christina. I just thought these are both really good quality. I, I love the handles on these. This is very nice. This is, um, I believe, nicer than what we probably have uh, ourselves. And then the rest of the stuff is kind of beauty stuff. And that's where I said it was um, the expense. Oh, wait, there's one more thing before we get to beauty. This, I've had this forever. I bought this early on in the year, probably back in April or something. This is a Barbie um, journal. It is 100 sheets, 200 pages, uh, inspiring girls since 1959. So 60 years, and it says girls can do anything. It has a hard cover. And believe it or not, this was a target in the toy aisle. I have no idea why it was in the toy aisle but it was uh, and uh, i just thought i had not seen one like it a journal like that and i just thought it was really cool i i thought it was really uh, really nice so hopefully uh, she'll write something in that the rest of the stuff is beauty items and this is where the expense came in so we bought her the philosophy peppermint stick and this is shampoo shower gel and bubble bath 
Um, and then we have, what is this stuff? Peppermint stick. I don't know what that stick is. Uh, peppermint stick. Oh, it's a high gloss lip shine. That makes sense. I don't wear, um, I don't wear lip gloss, lipstick, anything on my lips. So that's why I, I didn't have a clue what that was. And then we bought her the Body Shop. This is the Body Shop Strawberry. This is um, a set. You get shower gel. Let's see if it tells you what it is in here. I don't want to. It's a beauty bag. Strawberry shower gel. A body butter. Uh, I can't tell what all's in here. Um, it would look like lotion. So there's that. And I thought that was a cute little kit. And then uh, she bought this out of her Christmas money. But since it's so small, I decided that I was going to put it in her stocking stuffers. Um, small but costly, I'm sure. It's Sephora and it's a mask. It's a grapefruit peeling mask. Also, she bought these tweezers. Uh, they're called Tweezer Man. And I, she bought these at Sephora as well. And I think she paid like $20 to $25 for these. Um, she was given a certain amount of money for Christmas to spend. And um, so these were two of the items that she chose to spend her money on. And these, I know they were expensive because they were from Sephora. And then Kevin and I ordered these for her. It's called the Mighty Patch. And this is the Invisible Mighty Patch. And what you do is if you have a blemish, um, you put it over the blemish and it says you remove it when it turns white, a minimum of six hours. So it's something, I guess, if you have a, a pimple, then you put it on before you go to bed maybe. And then when you get up in the morning, you take it off. But Ashley got one of these in like a, it might've been an advent calendar last year, or maybe in a beauty box, one of those Target beauty boxes. But that's a, a good um, example of how those beauty boxes come in handy is because you get samples of stuff like this in there and then you can really see if you like it and if, it, if it's worth the money. So Kevin and I ordered both of these for her from Amazon and you get 39 patches in each box. So it's small and thin, but you, but you get a lot of uses. And then um, we bought her, uh, she requested this. This is the Drunk Elephant Lippy Balm. And these are, I think these were like $17 a piece. So I know it's small, I know it's lip balm, but because it's Drunk Elephant, it was not cheap. And she requested both of those. And then the last thing we are giving her is a $20 bill. And this is something that Andrew, Christina, and Ashley are all three getting, they're all three getting a $20 bill instead of a gift card or something like that. Or instead of me trying to figure out more stuff to give them that they may or may not use, um, you know, I would rather give them the money to where I know that, I know she can always use gas or groceries or whatever and she can buy, uh, use this 20 for that. So I hope you enjoyed getting to see what she's getting in her stocking and thanks for watching.